Today I'm going to be showing you on how to make cool things with magnetic balls. I have the 216 set and for the first one what you're going to want to do is you want to gonna get it into a straight line. Goodness gracious. Yep. This is so hard to do. Okay, so once you do that, what you want to do is you want to grab one end and wrap it around your pointer finger and then like that. And what you're going to want to do next is you want to make it so then it'll go around. You don't want it to stop. You want to make it like a spiral so then you can keep on going like that. And you just keep on going and 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 going until you get a cylinder just like this and you can squish it without it breaking. However, you cannot bend it. When you bend it, it just breaks open, but you can squish it. It's kind of nice to squish if you're into that kind of a thing. <laughs> okay, for number two, what you're going to want to do is you want to get an account five down, and you're going to put those five together so then you get this kind of a shape, and you want to wrap it around. like that until you get one of these kind of shapes once you have that just keep on doing that over and over. once you're done with that you should have 14 of them and you should have about six left over well, you should have six left over now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect them just like that and just keep on connecting them Oh yes, and you do not want them to go into the cracks. You would like them to go onto them, not in between. You would want them to go right on top. Once you stuck them all together, you should have this, and you should have 12 spots with, you should have 12 little holes. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take a single one and just stick it in every single one. And you can also use the ones that you just barely made. Then when you're done, you'll have a shape that looks something like this. It's pretty cool, pretty fun. And since I just barely made it and making a video, might as well smash it. <laughs> and it's actually kind of fun to smash it. Okay, for the next one, what you're going to want to do is get it in a strand again. And what you want to do is... You're going to want to count six down and then connect those so then you'll get this kind of a shape and you're just going to wrap around that. 
So then you get one of these, and you just want to keep on doing that over and over. Once you're done with that, you should have 12 exactly, and you should not have any left over. And what you're going to want to do, with these you can really make whatever you want. Like, literally you can make whatever you want. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a shape like that. And you're going to want to take the two that are furthest away and just connect them together so then you'll get weird kind of half ball shape. And then you're going to want to do that shape again. And the problem you may run into is when you're hooking them together, they might go in between like that. You do not want them to go in between. All you have to do is flip it over and then they go right back on. Now you want to make that shape again and just connect the two sides. Now what you want to do is connect it like that. Then you have like this ball and you can really make anything using these. Just create your own things. Beautiful little stunned. Yay. <laughs> this one is how to make the cube so that it will go back into its container. What you're going to want to do is take both ends and you're going to want to connect them. And you're going to want to pull it tight and then pinch off both ends so then you get a really long strip. Then with that, you're going to want to pull it over to the other side like that. So then you get a 4x4. Four four. And you might run into this where you get two little ones off at the end. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull those two off the end and put them back on the other end and it should make it nice then what you're going to want to do this is my favorite part because it is kind of cool you're going to want to split it like that and go down it so that it just splits like that um, this part you can use a card I've seen people use cards but I don't have really good cards, so what I used is an old CD that we are not using, or that's old. So what you want to do is count down seven, no, sixteen. Once you count down that much, you want to cut it and pull it off. Then you're going to pull it into a string, just like that again. And you're going to pull it over to the side of the four one, and you're going to hook it on. Like that. And then at the end, you'll... And when you come to this part, what you're going to want to do is cut it off. And you'll get this kind of a shape, and all you have to do is just pinch it closed like that, and then you hook it onto one side, so then you get a six long wide, and then what you're going to want to do is count down six, and you're going to want to fold that six over, just like that. So then you get like that. Then you want to do the other side like this. And then you keep on going back and forth. Then at the end you'll have a perfect cube, which then you can put right back in your container.
Those are cool tricks that you can do with magnetic balls.